what the divine masculine is thinking about the divine feminine. I feel like the divine masculine is looking at the divine feminine in all her glory. Because there are some of you who have recently just been doing your thing and I feel that you used to be the kind of woman who was locked up in the house or you felt trapped in a situation and lately you've just been letting your light shine and I feel like the divine masculine is paying attention to that. I see that um, for some of you, you've been doing some traveling or you plan to take a trip. Your Divine Masculine um, may ask to come with you or he may be taking a trip to come and see you. I do see a woman who watches the show or who watches this YouTube show. You live in New Orleans. And I feel that you feel trapped in a situation. But Spirit is saying that you're not trapped. As a matter of fact, you have a new beginning coming up. Um, you have the star card, and I feel like Whatever you touch turns to gold and your dreams will be coming true. So I do see you with a new beginning. I see you with a man and two children. Okay. And you may not have two children. You may have three, you may have four, but I see you living in New Orleans now. As far as the Divine Masculine goes, I see the Lover's card here. So there are some of you who you've been feeling like, okay, maybe there's something better out there. Maybe the Divine Masculine is not coming. Like you've been doubting this whole journey. And your Divine Masculine is coming to you. Because I see you and him together. And that's for a lot of you. In your heart, there's no one but the Divine Masculine. And I feel like you and your Divine Masculine will be together. Like, it's just here. For some of you, this is divinely orchestrated. The angels have been working to bring the two of you together. Some of you have been trying to meditate or you've been trying to just rest your mind because I feel like you've had enough. It's just too much going on at the point, at this point. I also see a man who's in college who's your divine masculine so some of you have a divine masculine who's away at college and he's actually he's graduating this year he's graduating he's getting ready to graduate and you're wondering um i see you like having anxiety you're kind of wondering whether he's gonna come to you and Spirit is saying that everything is going to work out. Things are going to go successful and he will be headed your way. Your relationship will be stable with your Divine Masculine. I just saw 444. Wow. So that's confirmation.
I feel that some of the divine feminines are trying to comfort the divine masculine because he may be going through challenges or you may be trying to solve his personal problems, but Spirit is saying to let him come up with his own solutions. And that everything happens for a reason. So your divine masculine may be um, having a hard time. And I feel like you're trying to solve his issues. But the thing is, he's going to have to solve it on his own. So if you stay out of that situation, the sun will shine again. And it's going to take strength for you to let him do this on his own. And then there are some of you who may have been recently having a communication with your, um, like a bad communication with your divine masculine, but I feel like that's going to clear up. I feel like one of you or some of you just recently lost someone and your divine masculine um, was there. I feel like this happened already. Was there to comfort you? And then you um, have been working on building yourself or renewing your life in general, just changing things around. You may have been, you know, switching things around in your house or you moved or just doing things differently lately. And it's giving you an optimistic outlook because you switch things up. Wow, and then some of you are definitely about to get the justice that you deserve. Wow. I feel that you've been waiting for so long. Like, it was like watching the movie because the Divine Masculine was off with this other person or he was away from you for a long time and you were watching, it was like a movie for you and you're waiting for this thing to end. You're sitting in the audience waiting for this thing to end and it finally ended. And now it's like you get the justice you've been wanting and now you're at peace. So if this is you, I feel like your divine masculine has just came in. And now you're feeling at peace. Like you and him are together. Things are working out well. I also see a pastor here. So if you're dating uh, your divine masculine as a pastor, I see him getting ready to call. And that communication could be coming in today if that's your divine masculine. I do see um, a woman here who's graduating from um, college and your divine masculine is coming in. So, wow. Congratulations to you on that.
some of you may have to make some very bold choices. Um, I feel like you're going to be moving overseas. And I feel like you know that things are going to go well for you when you go overseas. As a matter of fact, you're going to meet your husband there. So if you're not married and you're getting ready to move overseas, I do see a husband there. You're going to meet them there and you're going to be at peace. There's someone on here, you've been waiting for exactly five months. You and your Divine Masculine have been separated. And your Divine Masculine is younger than you as well. Um, he's getting ready to come in and he's coming in fast. So be ready because he's going to be very blunt when he comes in. He's going to be truthful. And he may even ask you to marry him. Spirit is saying that it's going to work out and it's going to be stable. And he did live far away. He lived uh, far away from you, but he's been thinking like, you know, he's been thinking for a while, should I go over there and be with her? And now he's on his way. Some of you are, I think this is like one person on here. You have a dog that looks like Lassie. Or that could be your Divine Masculine's dog. And you've seen that dog before in pictures. I feel like your Divine Masculine is headed home, if that's you. It's like a little, it's like a brown and white dog. I feel like you've been, you've stood up for what you believed in. Like you didn't back down. And now your reward is coming in. And he can also be calling you today. Wow. Wow. I feel like some of you recently um, had a hard time and for somebody on here, you went to a psychic within the past seven days. It wasn't me. You went to some, a woman and she told you some hardcore truth. Um, the spirit is saying that everything happens for a reason and just be strong with whatever she told you. I'm not sure why she's coming up in this reading, but she came up.
there's a woman on here. You're going to go see your divine masculine. I feel like your divine masculine lives overseas. I don't know what is going on. But you're going to go see him. One of them, he lives in Africa or Egypt. And you're going to go see him. And, oh my God, things are going to go well. I see you, and this is for somebody else, um, I see you and your Divine Masculine on a beach. And when you and him go to the beach, like, it's going to be more than what you thought it would be. I'm hearing more than what you signed up for, because when you get there, the communication is going to go, so, it's, like, it's going to be so well. The chemistry is going to be so good between you and him. I do see the sunset. Like, you guys are going to see the sunset together. And there's going to be a lot of healing taking place. He's going to tell you a lot of things on that day. For one of you, this may have just happened. For some of you, I feel like this is coming up. Wow, we got divine masculine um, fire signs coming in. They're going to do some confessing. And I feel like you're going to be receptive to whatever he has to say. I see divine masculines coming in that are air signs. Wow. And they're coming in with love. Some of these air signs are coming in directly with love, with no hang-up. Some of them are coming in and they have a karmic situation that they are still trying to straighten out. They are trying to conquer this. And I feel like the only way that they're going to conquer this energy is through God or their religion. It's gonna take a lot of strength. Or their higher power, whatever they call on, whoever they call on. Wow, this is beautiful energy. So, oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna cry because I see some, like one of you, you were dating a fire sign and I feel like he was looking away at someone else for a long time and now he's coming in with the chariot and the ten of cups energy so now you guys are coming in you know with love there's going to be a lot of love in the atmosphere and i feel like you divine feminine have been working very hard very hard at your femininity at just developing yourself and working on yourself and I feel like now it's paying off.
Yeah, I see a lot of um, fire sign divine masculines coming in. Oh, wow, ladies. So they're going to do some confessing. They're going to be, oh my God. And I know I just said that earlier, but it came up again. So that's another confirmation. And I see two, two, two. <laughs> wow. So I feel like um, if you're a divine feminine, I do see love getting ready to manifest. So with this uh, full moon that's coming up, you and your divine masculine will be together. For some of you, it'll be the Scorpio full moon or the Sagittarius full moon. I see love. I see clarity. I see romance. I see confessions. I see you and your divine masculine getting on the right track. I'm seeing a very peaceful energy here. For um, one of you, your divine masculine will be trying to prove himself. And you may you may even have some family who are, you know with you on that. They're like, okay, let him prove himself. And I feel like he's really going to try to prove himself right now. Like, and a lot, of, a lot of this has to do with you. You have been doing your thing. You've been, you've been healing. You've been in your power. Wow, these fire signs are coming in so strongly. I do see water signs of my masculine's headed home as well. For a couple of you, I feel like just when you thought it was over, here he comes. I feel like you washed your hands of the situation. You're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm walking away. You know, I, I put my swords down. I'm, I'm done fighting. And here he comes. <laughs> wow. And he's coming in very passionately. And this is a fire sign, so he's really going to be trying to prove himself to you. And you're, some of you, you're, you're just not buying it. Here comes this air sign again. My goodness. Okay. Some of you are dealing with air signs and you feel that the wheel is just not turning. 
you feel that the relationship is not going anywhere and it's been the same battle over and over again so let's see what spirit has to say about this air sign divine masculine See, I see that this air sign is very passionate about you as well. And you have the world card. And he's also going to be confessing his love for you. I feel like uh, the divine feminine is like, I'm not blind as you think I am I see what you're doing you've hurt me before and you have been you know having conflict with your divine masculine and I feel like he's saying but I'm here now And this is something that you've been wanting. But I feel like this air sign, Divine Masculine, has been trying to get his money up. And he's coming towards you. This may also happen around the full moon when he comes in. Or it's going to be a full moon when he gets there. And he's going to tell you everything. Because when this happens, he will be in his emotions and he'll be able to give you the clarity that you've been wanting about moving forward. And I do see him taking action, fast action. And now I'm seeing there are some dragons that he has to slay. Um, there are some people that he has to fight them off energetically because these people have strongholds on him. But I feel like he's powerful enough to conquer whatever this is. Um, could be his past, could be his current situation, or people around him that are very opinionated. But I feel like he's strong enough to conquer that now. And when he does, the two of you are moving forward. But there, there's definitely, for some of these air signs, there's a lot of people. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, possibly eight people that he has to conquer in order to get to you. And this is, this is energy here, so... And for some of you, it's a person around you. Let me see. This person is very tough. And I feel like this this person is gives you a lot of strength. They're actually helping you. And you may have um, fussed at this person, but this person is on your side. 
they're very they have a very tough exterior though um meaning they can tell you like they can tell you some hardcore truth but they're really on your side I do see a woman on here. You have a very small child and your divine masculine walked off from you. And it really, it really hurt you bad. I'm feeling like he is a earth sign divine masculine and he's headed your way. I feel like you have changed and you fought to change and now you're manifesting what you want. comes again. And I feel like whoever this is, <clears throat> you have you have options. But you don't want these other people, but you do have options. And now you manifest what you want. So here come the fire sign, divine masculines headed home to give you what you've been wanting. And I feel that some of you on here, you've been really praying for this. Yeah, <clears throat> I do see some fire sign divine feminines worrying. But I feel like there's going to be a positive outcome between you and your divine masculine. Um, Spirit is saying <clears throat> that okay, first of all something to do with your throat chakra. So your communication may be a little off at this point um, but 
I mean, that's between you and your divine masculine. There's going to be a renewal <clears throat> of you and him coming together. Spirit is saying to be more optimistic. And you could be overanalyzing um, a problem. So it could be something very simple. And you're making it a huge thing. Uh, making it very big. Oh my God. <laughs> you have the world card. Wow. So there will be a lot of healing taking place between you and your divine masculine. Wow, that's huge. You and your divine masculine will be on the same page together. For some of you, you have two boys. Probably one of you on here. You have two boys with your divine masculine. Or he may have two boys. Together, y'all have two boys. Like, you have one, he has one. But I feel like you guys are coming together. And I see peace being restored in the relationship. <clears throat> Oh, wow. I see the lovers. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I do see love here all over again. Wow. The two of you falling in love all over again. For some of you, the look on your face, <laughs> it's like you can't believe it. You can't believe it. It finally is finally happening. For some for some of you, it's happening in June. It's gonna happen in June. Everything you ever wanted coming true with your divine masculine. Confirmation. It says your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. So this is what you truly wanted and you got it. You're getting it. Wow. I do see some earth song divine feminines here. You're coming across as confident um, and courageous. And I feel like you want balance in the relationship. You're also getting communication. Things are going to take a, a turn for the positive for you. You will be getting a phone call. Or he may be there on the 19th. Wow. Just off 444.
I do feel like for a lot of you, your wishes are going to be coming true. I do feel that with all these retrogrades taking place, your divine masculine is gaining a different perspective. Some of them may be going to church or seeking a higher power. Oh my God, let me see this. Yeah, they're seeking a higher power. Literally praying to God to change because they see their ways. They, they understand what they're doing. They want, they, some of them want change. For a small portion of you, I do see you walking away and you found somebody else or you're finding somebody else. You decided that the situ like you decided that this was not for you. Yet you're watching. So your me the message came through for you and you found somebody else. And I feel like you're moving forward with that person. For others of you, some of y'all are really about to get what you want. Like this, this your divine masculine is coming through here very thick and very intense. I feel like right after you walk off. Because there's some of you that are walking off. You get everything you want. I mean, I got... Wow. Some of you, um, you and your divine masculine recently broke up. He told you that it was over. And I feel that you have been stressing. But I see the sun card here. I do see an older male, could be a father figure, trying to talk to you about the situation, or an older friend or a very wise friend talking to you about things. is coming coming up here Spirit wants you to be at peace. It says, release the past. There is a more enriching future. Let go and let God. So I feel like you will be reaching out to your higher power 
or maybe you're being guided to pray to your angels, pray to God. And Spirit is saying that this is a challenge that you can resolve. Have patience with yourself and others at this time. Wow. You are going to manifest a partner. You came out as the Empress and the Emperor, so you will be in a stable relationship soon. Wow. Spirit is saying to have faith that you will get the justice that you deserve. And this man is wealthy too. So whoever's coming into your life is uh, established and educated. So for the overall energy, I feel like there's going to be a new beginning for some of you. Um, some of you, you really fought for this situation. Now your ships are coming in. Now your treasure chest is coming in. Okay. Some of you is just pure luck, like just by chance, um, you're getting what you want. And I also see the sun here. So take care, Divine Feminine. 